My name is Joseph Knox, and I'm the author of Serena and Sunrisa Mortal, two novels focusing on Aidan Waits, a young detective in over his head in the dark underbelly of Manchester, England. Aidan Waits is a young detective who grew up in care, and for that reason he has not forged the connections in life that most of us take for granted. He's an isolated, loner figure, um, but with a sense of justice which comes from his troubled childhood. Um, Aidan is surrounded in the books by people who dislike and distrust him as well. Um, this is because he has a troubled history within the police force. In the first novel, we learn that he has stolen drugs from evidence, which is a pretty bad start to any policeman's career. Um, and so because of this, people often do not trust his motives and do not trust his instincts. It once again leads to him being um, the kind of archetypal crime fiction loner out on his own quest for justice. In this second novel, Aidan discovers the dead body of a man in an abandoned hotel. Um, this man is, for some reason, smiling. Uh, he's also had all the labels cut out of his clothes, his fingerprints have been removed, um, he is wearing contact lenses to change the colour of his eyes. It seems as though this man has gone to great lengths to hide his identity and has then been murdered. As Aidan is investigating this, at the same time he begins to sense that someone is looking into his identity, um, his childhood which he actually does not know much about. And so as the novel progresses, as Aidan gets closer to the real identity of this smiling man, so his own identity is creeping up behind him until it can almost reach out and tap him on the shoulder. Um, working in a bookshop really saved my life. Um, I, before that, was working in a very dirty, bad, dodgy nightclub in Manchester, one that has since been closed down um, because its reputation for drugs and violence was so bad. At the time I was desperately searching for a way out, uh, for any other job that I could do, and um, one emerged at a bookshop um, to go and shelf the books at five in the morning. Um, the, the problem was that I would work in the nightclub until three in the morning, and so for several months I just did not really sleep. And I think that is why so much of my books are set at night time, because I spent so much time wandering the streets of, of Manchester at night, and I felt like I saw a new side to this city that I thought I knew. I felt like I saw a new side to the people that I thought I knew as well.